determine if the two lines passing through the given points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. To determine this, we will first find the slopes of the lines passing through the given points using the slope formula, and then if the slopes are equal, the two lines are parallel. If the slopes are negative reciprocals of one another, the two lines are perpendicular, and if the slopes are not equal nor negative reciprocals, the answer is neither. So the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x. When we have two points on a line, we can determine the slope using the formula shown here, which is the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one. Let's call the first ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. We will call the slope of the first line m sub one. m sub one is equal to, again, the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, which is four minus five, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one, which is six minus three. Simplifying, four minus five is negative one, and six minus three is three. The slope of the first line is negative one-third. And now let's call the slope of the second line m sub two. And again, let's let the first ordered pair be x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair be x sub two comma y sub two. m sub two is equal to the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, which is two minus one, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one, which is zero minus negative three. Simplifying, two minus one is one, and zero minus negative three is equivalent to zero plus three, which is equal to three. So the slope of the first line is negative one-third, the slope of the second line is positive one-third. The slopes are not equal, and therefore the lines are not parallel, the slopes are also not negative reciprocals. Remember to find a negative reciprocal of a fraction, we interchange the numerator and denominator and then change the sign. If we want to find the negative reciprocal of negative one-third, if we interchange the numerator and denominator, we would have three over one and then change the sign from negative to positive. So three over one or three is the negative reciprocal of negative one-third, which doesn't equal one-third and therefore the two slopes are not negative reciprocals. The other check for negative reciprocals is to see if the product is equal to negative one. And negative one-third times positive one-third is negative one-ninth, which is not negative one, which is another way to verify the slopes are not negative reciprocals. And therefore the two lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. So because the two lines are not parallel, they intersect, but because they're not perpendicular either, they do not intersect in a right angle or 90 degree angle. And let's go ahead and verify this by looking at it graphically. Line one is graphed in blue, line two is graphed in red. Notice how the two lines are not parallel and they're also not perpendicular. They intersect, but they do not intersect and form a 90 degree angle. I hope you found this helpful.